In a typical data center, air handler systems supply 30% more air than required. This results in a high cost and ongoing wasted energy. It can even lead to an uneven distribution of cooling air and hot spots. NetApp uses our own proprietary pressure controlled cooling technology to exactly match the airflow required by the IT equipment with the cooling system. This technology provides an evenly distributed airflow at much higher temperatures without hot spots, thus increasing the hours outside air can be drawn in as the sole source of cooling, keeping the chiller plant off. Because of the building's vertical design, there is no horizontal management of airflow. Hot air rises and exits the building quickly and cold air is brought down from the roof through the air handlers directly into the cold rooms. The Global Dynamic Lab and Data Center accommodates 38 cold rooms and 36 hot rooms. It has a total of 2,166 racks that are 52U tall that provide an average of 12 kilowatts each. The electrical systems distribute 720 kilowatts to each cold room. As we walk down the main aisle of the data center, it should give you a good feel for how the hot aisles and cold aisles are constructed. The cold aisles have doors on both ends to create a pressurized zone. This pressurized zone keeps the hot air and cold air from mixing. The cost for these cold air zones was less than 5% of the overall construction cost for the facility. The reduction in primary air handling equipment was nearly five-fold. So not only do we save in construction, the ongoing costs are much, much lower. When we are operating in free cooling mode, the PUE can be as low as 1.02. As you can see, in the corporate IT space, doors are installed on both hot and cold aisle rooms to provide a more secure environment that is strictly controlled. There are no problems in having doors on the hot aisles. We leave them often less required for physical security to allow for free movement around the data center. As we walk into one of the pressure control rooms, you can see the doors on both ends as well as a lowered ceiling that seals the top of the rows. In addition, blanking panels are deployed in the racks where no kits are installed to prevent airflow between the hot and cold rooms. As we move over to one of the hot aisles, you can see that both ends are open and that there's no lowered ceiling. As we look up, you can see some of the cable distribution as well as vents or open grates in the ceiling. So it is easy to see how the design eliminates the need for duct work dramatically reducing fan horsepower and electrical consumption normally required to manage air movement within the data center. We are now up on the third floor above the data center floor. You can see one of the primary air handlers that draw air straight down from the rooftop into the cold rooms. Right in front of the air handler you can see a black grate in the floor. That is one of the many openings in the hot aisle that allow the hot air to move directly into the third floor. When cooling with outside air, Air must exhaust from the building in equal amounts as air is brought in from the outside. As required, louvers around the building on the third floor will open to allow the air to exit. Moving back to the air handler, you'll notice that it also has louvers on it. This allows us to mix hot air from the aisles below with outside air to adjust the outside temperature up if required when outside air temperatures are actually too cold. For about 70% of the year, air is delivered unconditioned directly from the rooftop to the cold rooms or we're mixing warm return air with the outside air. In the event that outside air exceeds the temperature of the hot aisles, the building can operate just as a traditional data center, recirculating and cooling the air from the hot aisles. This condition only occurs about 2-3% to of the year. One final feature I will point out is the ability of our airflow systems to repurpose the air from our hot aisles. When heating is required to manage comfort in office spaces, we can modulate and provide heating for these areas using air from the hot aisles. Thanks for taking the tour of the Global Dynamic Lab and Data Center here in Raleigh, North Carolina. I am Jeff Bonney. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.